So being a male sometimes seems like a good deal, uh, but if you go to an old people's home and you mm -hmm. look at lunch, mm -hmm. it's almost all women. Why is that? So I would say that that's because humans happen to be mammals, and it's quite a common mammalian pattern that females outlive males. Uh, it's quite interesting because like a lot of facts uh, that you think you know, um, you have to revise your thinking a bit when you move to other taxa. So in mm -hmm. birds, for example, uh, males usually outlive females. Uh -huh. Now some people would say it's because the X and the Y chromosome are kind of reversed in birds. There's Does that have something to do with it or not? It, it might very well have something to do with it. So, so the idea is that um, as human females, we have two X chromosomes. So if something goes a bit funny, then uh, you know the other one is still OK. Uh, whereas in birds, the sex chromosomes are actually kind of opposite to what they uh, are in So it's the males who have two the same. Exactly, uh, yeah. And, and that has been proposed as a mechanism. Um, Does that strike you as really plausible? Or? Uh, there's people who have looked into this. It looks like you can actually get a finer look at the situation by looking at those bird species where males actually do live shorter lives than females. So you do a comparative study. Uh, exactly. And so this so is they, such a great place to pause and say, what's the comparative method? That's it. Yeah. But say more about how right. that really works. Yeah. So um, the comparative method is basically asking, OK, if we have a great explanation, then it should really work in more than just one species. And for example, if you say that something should evolve when it's really cold, uh, something else should evolve when it's really hot, then you can look at all kinds of species that have moved to this or that habitat and see if the pattern really holds. That's mm -hmm. the essence of it. Right. And going back to the example we were just on. Exactly. So in those birds where males have short lives, uh, they so they are mammal-like in their lifespans. Mm -hmm. They also have very mammal-like mating systems, which is really interesting. They mm -hmm. are the birds where, like, think about a sage grouse or something like that. Uh, they the males are big. Uh, they fight a lot. Uh, they behave like spend a lot of their energy just trying to impress the girls. Exactly. Uh, whereas if you take a more typical bird species, uh, they are actually things where the males and females are roughly equal in body size. They both take care of the young. They have relatively similar. Um, reproductive strategies. Many people have made the point, and I wonder if you agree with it, that human mating patterns are really much more like many songbirds Absolutely. than they are other yeah. primates. I actually have a funny anecdote about that. Yes. Uh, I once got invited to write to an airline magazine, um, Finnair, uh, because they had heard uh, me talking in popular science talks that humans are a bit like birds. Right. Um, and they were clearly thinking that I will you know, both like to fly and those kind of <laughs> things. And, and when I told them that, no, this is actually about their sexual behavior, I never heard back from them. <laughs> so, so Blue Wings is a magazine that I still haven't written in. <laughs> maybe nowadays they'd be more interested. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Good, good. So let's pause here a second and then come back to exactly why it is that human males die so much sooner. Mm -hmm.